Welcome back to PixFlow. Today's tutorial is about using paper burn transition. To do so, I have chosen four video clips to use. This is footage number one. Number two. Three. And four. For better management and organization during the editing process, I have given each clip its own color tag, as you can see. Now, I'm gonna drag all four clips into my timeline. Since I want my video to be six seconds long, I'm going to set the time to six here. And then by using Alt close bracket, I will cut all the clips into six seconds. I'll choose the clips from top to bottom, right click on them, and then under Keyframe Assistant, I will select Sequence Layer. Make sure that Overlap is selected and then I will set the time to 3 seconds. As you can see, all my clips now move forward 3 seconds with regard to each other. Now I will split the layers by pressing Ctrl Shift D. Now that everything is set up, it is time to add my transitions. I will choose one transition from the transitions folder and then sync them with my footage. Let's see how they look. As you can see, I need to add some mats to the footage to make the transition more smooth. So I'm gonna select the second half of all my clips and then select alpha mat from track mats. You can see that the dark parts are now taken care of, but the flames are missing from the clip. To add the flames, this time I'm gonna select all the transitions and duplicate them by using Ctrl D. Next, I will mute the duplicates, and from the blending mode list, I will select the add. Now looking at the preview, and it looks great. There are also some times that you want to change the color of your flames based on the style of your video. So let's see how to get it done. I will go to the effects panel and look for hue saturation. Then by moving the master hue dial around, I can easily change the color of my flames and get creative as you can see. And that's it. Check out the link in the description below if you like this pack. Thanks for watching and stay tuned with PixFlow for more.